Hasselbeck triangle is also called as inguinal triangle. It is the region of the lower anterior abdominal wall or groin. It is present bilaterally that is both on left side as well as on the right side. The size of the Hasselbeck triangle varies from person to person as each individual's anatomy and body is different. As it is a triangle so it has three boundaries. Medially it is bounded by lateral border of rectus abdominis muscle. Laterally it is bounded by inferior epigastric vessels whereas inferiorly it has inguinal ligament. A direct inguinal hernia protrudes through the Hasselbeck triangle whereas indirect inguinal hernia they come from the lateral side through the deep inguinal ring. A direct inguinal hernia typically occurs in older individuals due to the weakness of abdominal wall. When the abdominal content protrudes through the Hasselbeck triangle into the inguinal canal. This triangle does not contain any important structure. It has only layers of abdominal wall. Due to its significance of differentiating between direct and indirect inguinal hernia, this Hasselbeck triangle becomes very important for undergraduates, postgraduates and later for the surgical purpose. This can be easily remembered by a mnemonic rest in peace where R stands for rectus abdominis muscles lateral border which is the medial border. I stands for inferior epigastric vessel whereas P is for popart ligament mm -hmm. which is another name of inguinal ligament. Another way to remember it is that the three boundaries are made up of different type of structures. For example, medially by muscle, laterally by vessels and inferiorly by ligament. So this was all about Hasselbeck triangle. I hope you like it. If you found it useful, share it with your friends and do like the video. Thank you.